Hello Capricorn and welcome to your June 2020 forecast reading. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Renee and uh, welcome to my channel. If this is the first time you find my channel, this channel is all about giving you guidance, giving you inspiration and giving you a little bit of motivation to have the best life that you can have. And for those of you who are returning, welcome. I'm so glad to see you again. Um, what we are doing today with this video is we are doing forecasts for the month of June 2020 for everybody who has Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon or Capricorn Rising. And um, I'm sure you're going to get some kind of inspiration from this. So on the table here in front of me at the moment, I have a whole lot of different decks that we're going to be using today. I'm not going to go into which decks I'm using, but all that information will be posted in the description below. And while we're talking about the description below, if you haven't already done so, please click the subscribe button. I think it's down here somewhere. Click the subscribe button. And if you click the bell as well after that, you will get notified every time I post a new video. I post videos on a Monday and on a Friday. And then once a month, I do this series of videos. On a Monday, I do Terrascopes, which are very much like this video, but short, sweet, to the point, less than 60 seconds. Um, so every Monday morning, you get, you don't have to watch a long video. You don't have to waste too much of your time. It's short, sweet, and to the point, less than 60 seconds to get guidance and inspiration for the week ahead. And then on Fridays, we do pick a card just to have some fun and to give you some guidance on anything that you may be facing, any challenges or opportunities or obstacles that are in front of you. All right. I have babbled and waffled on enough. Let's get straight into it, Capricorn. So we're looking at June 2020, and we're looking to see what is in store for you. What do you need to be aware of? What do you need to be mindful of? And what can you look out for? So we're starting off with the tarot because I love my tarot, and that's how I roll. And um, I have shuffled before I started the video, but while I have you on screen now, while I have your attention, I do like to give it a shuffle. And we're asking that the card that we draw today, the cards that we draw today, be exactly what all Capricorns need to hear for the month of June, the month ahead, June 2020. All right, shuffled enough. I say that and then I carry on shuffling. Let's grab some cards. So I'm going to take that one over there. And that one over there. So Capricorn, let's see what we get. So the first card we get, I want to just hide the one behind it. The first card we get is the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups, as you can see, she's feeling a little bit little bit disinterested in life, okay, she's not really noticing what's happening around her, she's like, oh, you know, these are all empty, there's nothing fabulous in them, she, she sort of lost her excitement, okay, but what she's not seeing, wrong finger, is there behind her lies some more, there are opportunities and, and, and situations around you that are full of promise, that are full of excitement, that are full of, don't allow disappointment over what's already been, stopping you and holding you back from seeing the opportunities that are there. So this card is definitely saying that there are opportunities, but you're so focused on the empty, you're so focused on that that's already spent, that's already gone, you're not seeing the opportunities that's there. So let's see the second card, connected. Ah, I'm liking this Capricorn, Ace of Cups, I just love this card. I just love how we've got this, this energy just bursting from her heart center. And you can almost see the smile on her face. And she's just in such a good space, isn't she? And you can see the magic that's all around. And, of course, the heart that's right there in the, in the bowl. Okay, so Ace of Cups traditionally is new energy coming into your life. New po positive emotional energy that's coming into your space. So when I look at these two together, so Capricorn, June 2020. June 2020, you may find yourself starting to feel a little bit, mm, a little bit disinterested. You may start to feeling a little bit like, ugh, I'm, I'm not, I'm not excited. I'm not interested. I don't want to do this anymore. You may be feeling a little bit like that, but you've got to, when you notice yourself feeling that way, you've got to give yourself a little bit of a shake up and say, hold a second. What did Renee say? What was it I was supposed to look out for? Because behind me, are opportunities. If I just look around, if I just observe what's happening around me, I'm going to see the opportunities that are there. And that's exactly what it's saying. And when I notice those opportunities, when I see them and when I notice them, they're going to bring through so much more that's going to fill my heart and allow me to be completely happy. So there are opportunities around like crazy, but you can't just sit there. You have to look for them. And I honestly think 
new people, new opportunities, and new situations and new circumstances. New positive people, situations, and circumstances are coming into your life. I love that. So Capricorn, there are going to be moments where you're feeling a little bit listless, a little bit irritated, a little bit uninterested, a little bit uninspired. Don't let that be the theme for the month. When you notice yourself feeling like that way, give yourself a bit of a shake up, look around you and find the opportunity, find the blessings, find the, op the, the, the circumstances that are going to change your life for the better. Right. So that's our tarot. I'm going to leave them here on the table in front of me so that I can see them and I will refer to them again and again and again. And I now want to start with the next deck that I have in store for you. And that is this one, which is the Angels and Ancestors deck. So again, I have shuffled this before I started the recording, but I like to shuffle when I have you on screen. I like to shuffle when you're right here in front of me. And what we're doing is we're asking the Angels and the Ancestors, how do they... What do they want to add to the message that we already have for all Capricorns for June 2020? What is it? How are they going to help us? How are they going to guide us? How are they going to mentor us? How are they going to make sure that we don't succumb to the negative feeling of overwhelm, of boredom, of uninterested? And how are they going to make sure that we see, feel, and accept the opportunities that are around us? Let's see what the ancestors and the angels want to say. So we're just going to take one card. Hunter. I love this. Can you see what it says at the bottom? Track down your fears and desires. Track down your fears and desires. And you can see he means business. You can see that. Okay. So Capricorn, when you find yourself, actually, no, I'm going to change my mind. Before the month starts, before we get too far into June, you need to spend a little bit of time pondering and thinking about your life, thinking about where you are now and where you want to be in the future. Where, What is the gap? What is the difference? What is the, what's the in-between? Okay, so that is tracking down your fears and your desires. Where are you now and where do you want to be? What's missing? What's gap? How do we fill that gap? We're not going to allow ourselves to feel... Mm, like it's not going to happen. We're not going to allow ourselves to feel uninterested, uninspired, and unmotivated. We are going to look for, we are going to be the hunter, and we're going to find these opportunities that are going to bring us this joy, this happiness, and the success that we're looking for. But it has to, it can and will only happen if we track down our fears and our desires. Okay. And that's what the angels and the ancestors are saying to you. They're saying to you that you've got to do the work. You can't expect, as like he's the hunter, you can't expect a meal if you don't go out and actually find the animal, find the food, find the opportunities. So this, this bliss, this joy, this happiness that's going to come into your life can and will only happen when you look around you, look at everything that's going on, be honest with yourself, be honest with yourself as to what is it that you fear the most and what is it that you truly desire. And ask yourself, are you living your life in line with your true desires? Are you being truly honest and open with yourself? Or are you allowing this uninterested, uninspired and unmotivated energy to overwhelm and to rule your life? So let's be the hunter, Capricorn. Let's be the hunter. Let's drive forward. Let's do whatever we can. Let's track down our fears and our desires. And let's make sure that we get to experience this total bliss, this total harmony, this total wow, wow, wow. Okay. I really do like that. I think that's fabulous, Capricorn. Really awesome. All right. So that's the angels and the ancestors out the way. Now, one of the things that I really enjoy doing and one of the things that I like to do in these videos is to work with this next deck. And this next deck is the Animal Spirits deck. Um, and basically, it's working with animal energy. It's working with uh, animal spirits and animal totems. So we want to know, in the month of June 2020, for all Capricorns, which animal energy is working with you? Which animal energy is right there by your side, guiding you and helping you and holding your hand on your journey? Which animal spirit is, is going to be your guiding light and going to be your protector and going to be that that helps you during the next month. And what message does this animal have for you? So let's see.
that one. So Capricorn, you get mouse spirit, and it says tend to the small things. And I think that fits in so perfectly with this card, okay? Because this card is basically saying to you that, you know, instead of feeling overwhelmed, look behind you, look for that small detail, because it's that small detail that is the opportunity. So mouse spirit is saying to you, tend to the small details. Um, and if you've watched The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, you'll know that it's the mice that rule the world. Okay, just being a little bit silly, but tend to the small things because, you know, sometimes we can be overwhelmed by the big stuff. Sometimes we can be overwhelmed by the magnitude of everything that's facing in front of you. But if you start off with tending the small things, you start feeling like you're accomplishing something. You start feeling a little bit more successful, a little bit more together and like you've got, you know, what's going on. And then you start feeling more confident and the more confident you feel, the bigger you, the bigger things you tackle until eventually. You have that pure bliss in your heart and soul. And that's what we want. That's what we want, Capricorn. We want absolute bliss and happiness in our heart. And we need to track down our fears and desires so that we recognize and know who and what we are. So work with the mouse energy for the month of June. Don't ever feel like you are insignificant. Because again, that's this card. Okay. Don't ever feel like you're too small to matter. Don't ever feel like you, you, you're not strong enough, big enough, courageous enough, brave enough. Be the mouse. Let mouse energy help you. Tend to the small things and know that it's going to work out perfectly for you. Okay. I love that. Love, love, love that. Right. We're not done. And I've said in every single video, I feel like I'm a, a commercial when I say, and there's more. <laughs> so now I'm picking up the next deck. And this is the Crystal Oracles, Crystal Spirit. Um, and we want to give you a crystal to work with for the month. So for the month of June 2020, for Capricorn, I'm throwing the cards on the table. For Capricorn, what crystal energy do you need to be working with, mindful of, wearing, holding near, holding dear, researching, Googling, and finding out about which crystal is a good one for all Capricorns to use to achieve all the things that we need to in the month of June? Which crystal is a good one for you? Right, shuffle dinner. That one over there. Fancy, fancy. We got pink sapphire. All right, so I do... I do like to think I know a fair amount about crystals, but I certainly don't know it all. And I'm not even going to try and give you an interpretation of this. You've got homework, and your homework is to go and Google it. Go and Google pink sapphire. You want to Google the metaphysical properties of the crystal. And if you have, if you happen to have a pink sapphire at home, wow, that's absolutely awesome. Um, use it, wear it, keep it near you, meditate on it, hold it in your hand. If you don't have, you can just take a photograph of this now, or you can just go onto Google and get yourself a picture. But every time you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed, every time you're feeling a little bit um, uninspired, bring out the pink sapphire, the picture, the image, the properties, whatever it is. If you just spend a minute thinking about pink sapphire, visualizing it in your mind, you will attract that energy of the crystal to you. So look up the metaphysical properties of the pink sapphire. If you can't find pink sapphire, just do sapphire on its own. And I'm sure it will tie into everything that we've covered here already for you. So Capricorn, just as a reminder, don't allow yourself to be uninspired. Don't allow yourself to feel uninterested and uninspired with the current happenings in your life. Look around you. There will be something awesome that's going to bring you the opportunity for happiness, for joy, for peace, for heart bursting times. Okay. Remember that your angels and your ancestors are telling you to be the hunter, to keep looking for these opportunities. Don't stop for a minute. Track down your fears and your desires so that you know exactly what you're looking for. Work with mouse energy for the month of June. Tend to the small things and before you know it, you'll be surprised at what you've accomplished and use the sapphire energy to help you achieve all of that and more. All right. So with love and blessings from my heart to yours, remember on a Monday we have Terascopes that will give you this in a condensed version, less than 60 seconds to get you through the week. And on Fridays we do pick a card from my heart to yours until we connect again. Take care.